Hello everyone, Matthew here from Plugin Everything. Welcome to the quick start video for Digit Fiddler. Let's jump straight in. If you want to add it to your comp, simply go to your effects and presets, click on the user presets and drag it into your comp. You're basically ready to go. However, if you aren't using a user preset or you happen to not have it, you can simply drag this onto a text layer and the controls will be the same. The difference is these apply in clear buttons, which I will explain at the end of the video. Jumping straight in, we've got the mode at the top here, numbers or time. I'm going to talk about numbers first and halfway through the video we're going to switch to time and I'm going to explain the controls there. The number slider sets the number value. It can be easily animated up or down using this handy slider. Simply start, end, and you're ready to go. Already you have the basics of a counting number. Decimal places slider controls how many decimals are shown in the number. Useful for situations where you need to show accuracy or you just want to add a bit of flair to your number. Simply set it like so and just like that you've got two decimal places it can go up to however high you need it to be integer padding tells your number how long it should be for example we're counting from 0 to 100 so let's set our integer padding to 3 as you can see we constantly keep a three digit long number which keeps a nice clean kind of look if that's what you're going for separator changes what is used to separate the number into groups of thousands default is comma you can see the other options here, dot, none, comma, and space, dot, and space, and space. Very simple, very easy. Set the option, and you're ready to go. Decimal defines what you want the decimal place to look like. You have the choice between a dot or a comma, if that's what you're into. Custom text placement is pretty simple. When you add a piece of text to your number, for example, a dollar sign, you can choose or not you want it to say on the left of the number or on the right. This is useful if you're switching between a dollar sign or a percentage. So that's number mode. Let's check out time mode. Switching over to time mode, you might have already noticed things are a little bit different. So I'm going to jump over each point and demonstrate what it does. The time value at the top works almost identically to the number value on the number mode. The difference is it works in seconds rather than just simply numbers. This will always work in seconds. So if you want one second, it's one second. If you want one minute, it's 60 seconds. And if you want one hour, it's 3600 seconds. As you can see, each point traveled along from seconds to minutes to hours. Going left to right, we go hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. A quick heads up, these aren't actually milliseconds. They're one hundredth of a second, not one thousandth, but we've decided for visual, they work quite nicely. In the formatting section, we have four checkboxes. You can, as you can tell from the names, they're each designed to display one or the other. If we tick off minutes, minutes will no longer be displayed, seconds, milliseconds, hours, etc. In the style section, display colon will tell Digit Fiddler whether or not it should show the colon. You switch it off and you get something like this. This is handy when you're doing 24 hour time or you want to make it look like you're using military time. Padding tells Digit Fiddler whether or not the far left time digit should be padded or not. With it on, it's 0 and 1, and with it off, it's simply 1. This works for whatever is happening on the far left. It can be hours, minutes, seconds, or whatever. It's simply going to pad that one. Custom text placement works in exactly the same way as it does in the numbers. Pretty easy. Digit Fiddler works using an expression, so if you've simply thrown the effect on a text layer rather than using a preset, the expression won't be stored. However, using these buttons, you can hit apply and it will throw the expression on the text layer like so. Hit clear and it will remove it. So that's it for Digit Fiddler. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have fun fiddling with your digits.